the toxic truth behind help desk and entry-level IT roles. Stay tuned. If you are looking to learn more about IT or study for one of the many certifications, sign up for a free trial of Pluralsight. Their vast library offers many courses ranging from software development, IT operations, and cybersecurity. Please check the link in the description for more information. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions, and I have been debating doing this video for a while. It's something that I'm very passionate about. It's something that comes up during live streams very, very often. And that is the salary that help desk and entry level roles offer. So let's get into today's video. But first, I have to give you guys a warning. Some of what is said in this video may offend or upset people. I want to assure you that help desk or any entry level role is always going to be the best choice when looking to get into the information technology field. You're going to learn so much by getting into an entry level position. The knowledge and the experience that you gain from starting a help desk or an entry level role far outweigh the negative points that I bring up within this video. It should also be noted that the information that I share in this video does not directly reflect every help desk or entry level role that is out there. So getting started, let's define an entry level role. You will be in charge of basic and minimal enterprise work, like changing passwords, creating and deleting accounts, unlocking accounts, uh, adding devices, adding software or applications, basic troubleshooting, like when applications freeze or the computer freezes, things like that, uh, printers not working, minimal hardware support for keyboards, mice, etc. Uh, answering phones, actively troubleshooting level one type of issues, uh, transferring calls to appropriate technicians or team members, answering tickets, sorting tickets, assigning tickets, uh, those are some of the different kind of responsibilities that you could see within an entry level type of role. Now, please keep in mind that every business out there will define their help desk or entry level role completely different from one another. They will have different job duties and responsibilities depending on that organization. However, some of those responsibilities could vary into more advanced things that maybe you should not be doing based on that entry level status. But let's talk about the misconceptions of job roles and titles because a major issue in IT lies within the businesses and organizations that are doing the hiring of specific jobs and the titles that they do that they're using don't align correctly with what you are actually doing. For instance, one organization could hire a help desk position in the traditional fashion as we mentioned previously. However, another company could hire a help desk position that has more advanced job duties than this other company. You could be doing maybe more server work, more virtualization work. Maybe you're doing some more networking. Maybe some of those job duties that are at that entry level job title that you have really fall in line with like a level one or a level two tech, for instance, but they hired you on as a help desk position or an entry level position. What do these two roles have in common? They pay the same. So the downward spiral begins. As we all know, there is a high demand for IT professionals. With entry level positions, they are relatively easy to fill. There's usually never a shortage of job applicants for entry level roles. This along with a few other factors that we will mention means that companies can actually fluctuate their pay rates pretty widely on some of these entry level roles. What begins to happen is these companies start lowballing uh, their new potential employees until somebody takes the rate. So what happens is someone is so desperate to get a job or to get an IT, or maybe that they're so young that they don't even care that they are getting lowballed and getting paid a ridiculously low salary. So now the cycle begins. If one person will take a low pay rate, somebody else will definitely take a low pay rate as well. This begins to kind of circulate and becomes somewhat of a norm. And again, just to clarify, this does not happen all of the time. There are plenty of entry level positions out there that will pay a substantial salary or a substantial pay rate. However, the spiral continues. Many businesses and organizations place no value in their IT department. A common type of saying that you will hear in the IT world is that your IT department makes no money. There's no revenue coming from the IT department. So we don't care about the IT department. And you might hear other sayings that fall right in line with that as well, but generally that's something that you hear very often. 
You will also find when you get into an IT department, they will always say that they're understaffed. A lot of times that is definitely true. So what happens is you will find that these companies who place little to no value in their IT departments will be the ones that pay the least amount of money. And they still don't have a shortage of IT staff. If they do have a shortage of IT staff, it's by their choice because they don't have any value in their IT department. They don't care about the value that IT brings. So they don't care that the IT department essentially makes the entire business run. You know, your IT department actually makes the entire business money. If your computer system goes down, you're not making any money. So ergo, your IT department is your biggest source of revenue. But some companies don't see it that way. Turnover. The cycle continues. The people who are taking these low paying jobs, doing these job duties that they should be compensated more for, start applying for new jobs. So the turnover rate in IT continues, it grows. If you know anything about IT, there is a fairly large turnover rate within some of the entry level roles, and that's for good reason. When you have a high turnover rate within a company who does not value their IT department, they will continue to pay low wages. They will hire people at low wages and the turnover rate continues. They will still bring people in to these positions and they'll continue to pay them a low rate. They just don't care. It happens all the time. Let me give you some reassurance. I'm not trying to steer you away from IT from this video. I'm not trying to tell you that help desk or an entry level role is bad because they pay a low rate sometimes. This is just the hard reality of what you will find in this field sometimes. When somebody comes into my live stream and they're telling me they just got hired into an entry level job at $12 an hour, it, it hurts. I hate seeing that. One of my first entry level jobs paid $9.83 an hour. I was in charge of an entire school district. That's six schools. There was 3,300 kids. There was about 1,500 devices within that school district. I was in charge of all of that. I was the only help desk technician, whatever you want to call that position, that, that was me. I did all of that work and I made $9.83 an hour. I had to handle all the imaging, all the troubleshooting, everything. $9.83 an hour. I feel your pain. It's not fair. I contributed to the problem. But there are plenty of job opportunities out there that actually pay a better rate, that will pay a fair salary. Sometimes you have to start from the bottom and work your way to where you want to be. If you take the low paying job, this contributes to the issue and this tells the business that that's okay just like I did, but it's not okay. It's absolutely not okay. Eventually businesses should, I hope, come around and start putting more value into their IT departments. One could only hope. In closing, someone will always come along who will take a low wage. Just because they are desperate for a job or they are young enough that they don't care what that rate is and they just wanna get into the field maybe. Maybe you're older and you don't care what that rate is, you just wanna get in and that's okay. This is something that's toxic to our industry. Not only does it poison you, but the businesses that abide by this never learn, they never understand, and they continue to hold no value in what you are doing or their IT department. So what happens is you get burned out, making little to no money, handling piles of tickets, managing systems and applications that you really shouldn't be managing, that you really should be compensated more for, but you know, you're not. So you yourself become toxic. You stop caring, you stop trying, you just keep working along in this business because they poisoned you and you don't feel adequate enough to do better. But stop, stop feeling that way. If you're working in IT and you're not making a fair amount of money, if you're starting out in help desk and you're making a low wage, it's okay, it will be okay. Because the most important takeaway that I want you to get from this video is that if you are in this position, the most valuable part of this field of working in an entry level role in a help desk position, even if you are making dirt money is the experience. Once you get that experience, you instantly become more valuable. Never stop looking for new job opportunities. There's plenty out there where you can pretty much double your salary overnight. Yes, you can double your salary overnight. I did that with a job where I was making $9.83 an hour. I went from the $9.83 an hour to $25 an hour, literally overnight. 
Yeah, for another school district even. It can happen. So that's today's video. I hope you guys got some use out of it. I hope I didn't offend anybody or make anybody upset. And if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please hit me up in the comments below. As always, take it easy.